Twisted Black is home after yeah. 17 years. Fort Worth legend. Yeah, he, this is uh, fourth time home. So who, who celebrate losing? That's why I'm the only nigga in Fort Worth winning and then made it to this height. Twisted Black don't have a worldwide name. He's a four-time convicted felon loser, been four times. His mama died while he was in prison. Who's celebrating this nigga? He coming home and have to get a handout. He talked about selling dope. And they arrested him for what he talked about. Twisted Black was the first rapper to get federal time for talking about dope in his lyric. I'm going to cook my way to the top. The shit he was rapping about, he was doing it. He snitched on himself. And one of the songs that got him busted, that got the feds on him, is a nigga by the name of Young Thousand. Young Thousand was already in the feds behind Twisted Black. Young Thousand sent word to Twisted Black, say, homie, my family hurting out here. I'm hurting in here. You say you go take care of me. Twisted Black wasn't sending the nigga no money. Young Thousand told on him. My nigga, I done, I been down for you. I'm all, I already been down here. I didn't snitch when they got me. We say we go take care of homie Twisted Black. So all the niggas Joe Blow them, the old nigga Pops them, the other old nigga, I ain't gonna say his name. Nigga, they telling Black, say, man, that little nigga gonna tell on you, just send him some money. Stupid ass nigga didn't send him no money. So the feds got that nigga. They got the album where Twisted Black saying the, the, the star witness. Now imagine a nigga who not in a federal investigation fucking with the star witness of a federal investigation in your rap song. This how dumb these niggas is, homie. Who celebrates dummies? Angie Denise Hudson, bitch. Why would you call her name, nigga? And she getting niggas put in the fed. And he fucking with Angie Denise Hudson. And then he go on to say, because cause rappers like the cap. Yeah, yeah, man, I heard these niggas talking about Twisted Black got caught with 15 bricks. Yeah, yeah, if I got caught with 15 bricks, that must have been a bad day. They gave that nigga 330-year cons consecutive sentences and played his song, I'm gonna cook my way to the top before they sentence this motherfucking ass. You stupid, nigga. The Corvette you sold dope out of, you rapped about selling dope out the Corvette. You sell them 50, it, all the shit, now, come on, homie. So for him to come home now, and I see all these old niggas running up to go hug him for the fourth time, how he a fucking legend and he done lost four times. Not only that, he come home and make a diss trucker about me. This bitch ass nigga been gone 17 years. And he was just on my dick nine months ago when I got into it with T.I. He sent me a verse to put on my song. He just was talking about drugs, so I didn't put it. But one of the first things he did when he came home was one of the guys that Tegan put in jail, one of the main snitches in Tegan's case, Twisted Black is on camera hugging him, nigga. The main snitch, locking C's with him. All the G's in Fort Worth do, cause he a real G, he just told. A real killer, whoop these niggas. I'm the only nigga public that have ever called him a snitch. That's the nigga I told you about caught me outside the club. Twisted Black hugged him when he came home. Twisted Black made a song about him. Talking down on him, he should have my niggas take their lick. This is for my niggas, T Cat and B, and come. That's why I say these niggas hypocrites, nigga. I talked to him since this little shit. Man, hey, I don't want no problem. Well, you better tell that bitch ass nigga stop putting the key in your back. He didn't know I was this forceful. I'm sorry, bro. Nigga, you've been gone 17 years. You don't want these problem. I promise you don't, nigga. Because you wasn't supposed to stop at that detail shop. And when they let you out of that federal pr prison, you supposed to go straight to that halfway house. Don't make me call that federal bureau of prison on you, nigga, and show them this video. You hanging with all these known gang members and other niggas on parole. You in violation already. First day out. You better go back to rapping, nigga. But he too old. 50-some, 53 years. You too old, nigga. These young niggas here mumbling now. You too articulate. You too mm. thoughtful, you too knowledgeable. This stupid shit now, <laughs> you missed your era and you missed your time. He just like that nigga from I'm Gonna Get You, sucker. 
When he come out, he got them motherfucking fish tank shoes on with the fish in it. Still thinking niggas wearing fur and minks. And man, these niggas got on sweatsuits and hoodies. He, he institutionalized, nigga. All he can do is regurgitate all the same bullshit. And he gonna sound dumb now. He done got with hood fame. They has-beens. Has-beens, used-to-bees, and never was it. It ain't no more present-day niggas like Sean Cotton and Charleston White. 